of the problem number 3. Find the sum and the product of the roots of x, uh, 8x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, since we're looking for the sum, we will use the sum and product. We will look, use the formula. So we have sum of the root roots is equal to negative v over a and for the product of the roots is equal to a c over a okay so you let's now proceed to identifying the values of a b and c of the given equation so we have for the value of a so we have on the first term so we have 8 and the value of b is the second term which is negative 2 and the c for the third term or the constant term that will be negative Okay, so we can now proceed in getting the sum of the root using the given formula. So we have for the sum is equal to negative v over a. Let us substitute the value of b. So we have negative. The value of b is negative 2. Negative 2 over the value of a which is 8 so we have negative times negative that will be positive then it become positive 2 over 8 or we can simplify this one as positive 1 over 4 so that is the sum of the root for the product of the root so from the formula we have c over a so substitute the value of c which is negative 3 over the value of a which is 8 so we cannot simplify this one this is now the product of the root and this is the sum of the root so you can verify this one by using the any method in identifying the or finding the uh, roots of the quadratic equation but now i will use the quadratic formula to find the roots of the given equation so from the given equation we have 8x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so le since we've been using the quadratic formula, so we have negative b, positive negative square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So as you can see, the quadratic formula need the values of a, b, and C. So I will write it here. So we have for the A, we have 8. For the B, is equal to negative 2. And for the C, is equal to 3. I just only rewrite it so that in substituting the C2 see the values of a b and c so we have okay so we have x is equal to sub negative sub to the value of b which is negative 2 positive negative square root of the value of b which is negative 2 square minus for the value of a is 8 
and the value of C is negative 3 over 2 multiply the value of A which is A. so we have x is equal to negative times negative that will be positive so the result will be positive 2 positive negative square root of negative 2 square is positive 4 simply negative 2 times negative 2 that will be positive 4 so we have 4 minus 4 a times negative 3 that will be negative 24 so over 2 times a that will be 16 so we have x is equal to 2 positive negative square root of 4 sorry we forget yes 4 minus negative times negative that will be positive then 4 times 24 that will be 96 over 16 so we have x is equal to 2 positive negative 4 plus 96 that will be square root of 100 over 16 x is equal to 2 positive negative so since 100 is a perfect square so the square root of 100 is 10 over 16 Let us separate this one. Let's separate the denominator. So we have 2 over 16 plus negative 10 over 16. So we have x is equal to, we can simplify this one. So we have 2 divided 16. So that will be 1 over 8 positive negative so 10 divided by 16 that will be 5 over 8 okay so let us now proceed in the identifying the roots of the given equation so we have x is equal to let us separate 1 over 8 plus 5 over 8 and the other one we have x is equal to 1 over 8 minus 5 over 8 so we have x is equal to since they are similar in denominator copy the denominator then proceed to add their numerator so 1 plus 5 that will be 6 or we can simplify this one x is equal to 3 over 4 so that is the first root and the other one we have x is equal to okay since they are similar in denominator copy the denominator then subtract the numerator so we have 1 minus 5 that will be negative 4 or simply we can simplify this one as x is equal to negative 1 half So that is now the 
first are the two roots of the given equation. So let's identify this. Uh, let's identify this one as x sub 1 and this will be x sub 2. So to be able to get the sum, so we just only adding the sum of the roots. So we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to identify uh, substitute the given values or the values of x sub 1. We have 3 over 4 plus negative 1 over 2. So we have LCD of 4. So we have 4 multiplied by 3 that will be 12 divided by 4 is still 3 plus or simply negative 4 multiplied by 1 that will be 4 divided by 2 that will be 2. So we have So for the sum of the root, we have 1, 3 minus 2, that will be 1 over 4, or positive 1 fourth. And for the product of the root, we have x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2 is equal to Substitute the values of x sub 1, we have 3 over 4 times 1 half. So the answer is, just only multiplying the numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So that will be 3 times 1, that will be 3. Sorry, I forgot the negative. So we have 4 times 2 that will be 8. So we have answer of negative 3 over 8. So that is the product and this is the root. So which is if we go back to our answer a while ago so we have 1 fourth and negative 3 over 8 positive 1 fourth and 3 over negative 3 over 8 so our answer is correct for more videos on mathematics please don't forget to subscribe